Hey everybody, happy 2020. What is going on? I know it's been quite a while since I've released a video. The primary reason for that is because I've been trying to figure out what direction I want to take the channel, what kind of content I want to make going forward. So I didn't necessarily want the entire focus of the channel to be based around one series. The game engine tutorial went on for quite some time and I'm happy with the way it came out, but it's not necessarily the direction I want to take the channel as a whole. I do want to explore some other things with you guys as well. One of those main things is the actual process of game development. As you can see by what's up on the screen, I've been working on a project of my own for quite some time now in private. This project is something I've kind of wanted to do for quite some time, but because of work or personal reasons, I've been unable to do so, at least until recently. It's a bit like Doom, a bit like Wolfenstein, so to speak, in that it is a 2D map that is rendered in 3D with a set of 2D sprite weapons overlaid. And the primary object is, of course, to get from the beginning of each level to the end of each level and have a story as time goes. I wanted to build this because I was curious about some of the things I would run into along the way. The version of the product you're looking at on the screen actually isn't finished yet, so it's still very much a work in progress but I wanted to get it far enough along before I showed it to anybody that there was actually something to show. And so what I'm actually gonna be doing on this channel is making a game very similar to this, starting from the ground up. But instead of rolling everything by myself, I'm going to use a couple of libraries to help me out. Rolling everything in raw WebGL has its advantages for sure. You have control over everything. But the disadvantage is the amount of time that it takes. So for this game, I'm going to be using a couple of libraries. One of those is going to be 3JS, which is going to be the primary renderer. And the other is going to be uh, Box2D that I'm going to use for the physics. So I'm not 100% sure whether I want to release this version of it and then go back and rebuild it with you guys or start it from scratch. Because there are a couple of things that I learned while I was building this that maybe could be done in a better way. So I think probably what I'm going to wind up doing is at some point putting this version of the project aside and re-implementing all of this with you guys on this channel. And the advantage to doing it this way is the fact that a lot of the low level heavy lifting is already done for us. So we're not going to have to worry too much about render code. We're not going to have to worry too much about how the physics work. We can actually just focus on building a game. Along with building a game, of course, comes an editor. So I've prototyped a quick editor here. For those of you who are familiar with uh, Wolfenstein's top-down editor, this will look very familiar to you. Uh, it's a 2D map that simply defines uh, a ceiling, floor, and walls, and then lights. So you can see here, this is how the textures are actually assigned. And here is what the lights look like. So this basically uh, controls the lighting per individual sector. This is the collision, if I just turn these other layers off. So this is what the collision looks like. The pink tiles are tiles that collide. The blue tiles are the tiles that are in open area. And the black tiles are tiles that have nothing in them. And there's also this entities layer here, which I actually don't have, but entities are things like player spawns, weapon pickups, uh, keys, things of that nature. So uh, items such as these things that are sitting on the ground would be an example of those. So we're going to be building not only a game, but the tool set to go with that game. And I wanna build this from scratch with you guys because I feel like it would be a good learning experience on working on an actual product and not so much working on just building an engine. So all of that being said, there's two directions that I could go with this. I could either make all of the individual sessions done as live streams, where uh, every so often I would actually live stream the development process, or I could record the videos as I've always done, edit them down and make them shorter so that uh, it doesn't take quite as much time to get through it. What I would like to know from you guys is which version of that you guys would prefer. I haven't started recording anything yet, I've only done the development on this version of the product that you guys have seen so far. And so 
whenever we actually start this, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing, and that includes project creation. So all of that being said, let me know what you guys think. Let me know which direction you guys would like to see this go in, uh, because I'm very interested to know whether or not there would be a demand for live streaming, because it's been suggested to me a few times that perhaps I should live stream my development process. And while I think that would be very useful and I'm open to the idea, there is the potential that it will take a lot longer in terms of video time. So all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me and I will be providing more updates on this soon. See you guys next time.